Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about my personal top 10 least favorite Gen 1 Monster High dolls. That was a mouthful and I'm like 10 seconds into the video, but that's what we are going to be doing today. Last year I did a video where I did my top 10 favorite Gen 1 Monster High dolls. And so this is kind of the inverse of that where I just look at some of the worst ones and question why they have to exist. I will say for this, I was being very, very strict. In some of my videos, like the um, ranking videos that I do for Monster High, I kind of group Gen 1 and Gen 2 together and I'll like do ranking videos with both sets of dolls. But for this specifically, I did want to only do G1 dolls. No G2 dolls are gonna be on this list. Mostly because while I do think that there were some good Gen 2 Monster High dolls, there were also a lot that were really, really, really bad and so I didn't want this entire list to just be like mostly gen 2 dolls that are low quality because I felt like that would be kind of a boring list and kind of like taking the easy way out so I was very strict no gen 2 dolls whatsoever this is just my least favorite um gen 1 dolls so that is what we are going to be doing today the key thing here to keep in mind is that this is just my opinion obviously some of y'all are going to disagree and that's totally chill I would love to hear your thoughts on these dolls and which ones you hate like the most in the comments down below just please don't be upset if we happen to disagree here um but yeah other than that I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. If you're new here and you have fun, definitely subscribe so you can see more. And if you want to go out of your way to support me, I have my PO box and wish list and stuff in the description down below. Without further ado, let's start looking at some rough Monster High dolls. Okay, so we're obviously gonna go from 10 to one because like that's how you have to go. You have to build up the suspension. And my 10th least favorite Gen 1 Monster High doll is sadly Cleo from Wave 2. I don't think she's like a terrible doll. Obviously we'll be getting to more terrible things as we get higher up on this list. I don't think that she's terrible, but she does stand out as one of like my least liked Gen 1 Cleo dolls. Like obviously, again, G2, a lot of worse ones. But for Gen 1, I just think that there's kind of too much happening here. I don't necessarily mind the green color on her, but I don't think that it works with the teal that is also going on there. And then there's like a lot of black. I don't know, there's just a lot of patterns and a few colors that I don't think quite work. Maybe they could work together, but just like the way that they're implemented in this doll, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of. Again, not that she's the worst thing ever, but she was bad enough to make the list. Before we get to number nine really quick, I would like to apologize if y'all can hear that sound. I think my neighbors are doing something. I'll try to edit it out. So like, if you don't hear anything, super duper, but I can't do anything about it. Like if it's too much, cause like, I, I can't stop them. It sounds like their TV or something. Anyway though, number nine is going to be the Dead Tired Ghoulia doll. Those of you who have been watching for a while will know that I really am not just the biggest fan of Ghoulia in general. I don't do zombies and like her general vibe doesn't fit with mine. Like we just don't share the same aesthetic. So I generally don't like Ghoulia, but I can usually appreciate that like other people will enjoy her. And I'm sure people enjoy this doll too. That's great if you do. Like I'm happy if you're happy. But for me, just not working for me. I think it's the combination of it being Gulia and then she has her general aesthetic and then also it just doesn't make sense for pajamas for me like the faux suspenders. Not for pajamas. <laughs> like I know that that was a thing back in fashion at that time that these dolls were coming out. Like I, I rocked the suspenders as well, okay? I did that in middle school, I know. But like on a shirt, like in their fake for sleep. I think that's what they're supposed to look like. That's what they look like to me. And then also like the skirt over the like calf length leggings. I don't know. It's just really not something that I like it at all, frankly. <laughs> but especially as pajamas, I think it makes even less sense because I just don't understand why you would need like two bottom layers for pajamas. I don't know. I don't get this. I don't understand this doll. She's a number nine for me. Number eight is going to be 13 Wishes Laguna. I have always disliked the hair on this doll because I think it's just way too vibrant a yellow. I don't think that it works with the other colors on the doll. It just stands out in like the worst possible way. Laguna got a few dolls where she had really, really intensely yellow hair and I just never think that it looks good on her. But 13 Wishes is the brightest yellow that Laguna ever got. And uh, yeah, I'm not a fan, especially after watching the movie and realizing that this is like her freshwater form, I guess you would say. I like it even less because now I think it's a bad design and also it has such negative connotations to me that this is just definitely not a doll that um, I have really a lot of positives to say about, hence why she's on this list. <laughs> 
Number seven is going to be the Scaris Frankie doll. Again, those of you who watch the channel will know that I'm not a fan of G1 Frankie. Shockingly, this is going to be the only Frankie on the list, okay? I'm going to spoil that for y'all now. Only Frankie on the list. I was being very reserved with my choices here. Most of the time, I just think that her dolls are kind of eh to me. Like, I just don't feel a whole lot. This one... I just don't like. <laughs> I don't know what it is about like the particular color scheme and the patterns that are going on, but it just really doesn't work for me in a way that is like a little bit more aggressive than the way that most G1 Frankie dolls don't work for me. And when I was making this list, I had like 15 dolls I was considering, and as I was cutting it down, like I, I just couldn't bring myself to not put her on here, so she made it to number seven. Number six is gonna be the Fantastic Fitness Venus. This whole line was pretty rough, like. It's just not a great line. None of them have shoes, which like for the things that the dolls are doing, like the sports or activities that they're engaging in, yes, it makes sense, but also it's just really bad. Like it's so obviously budget. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I don't like this hairstyle on Venus. I think it looks a little bit too sweet for her. It doesn't quite work for me, but I do like the print of her shirt and her bottoms. Like I think those are fun fabrics. I don't necessarily love how they're executed. I think the top is the best piece by far because I feel like you could use that in like a restyle and it could look really cool. The shorts are okay, but yeah, I just, I think that she's quite underwhelming and the fact that I love Venus dolls so much in general makes it worse for me because it's like she has so much potential and she could be so fun and this is all we got for her. Still not the worst, but enough to bring her to number six. Number five, I kind of surprised myself with, but it's Picture Day Abby, and I'm sorry if you like her, okay? Like, this is not meant to offend anybody, but I just don't think that this is a very cohesive design. It's just definitely not for me. I've said before that I don't like Abby dolls as much when they have a lot of black in the design. Like, there's a couple, like one or two that I can think of that do it pretty well, but for the most part, I think she looks better when she's in lighter colors rather than like super, super saturated colors or the dark black. So there's already that going for her. I think the transparent black of the shoes ends up just making them look gray and it's just kind of weird. And then she's got like the tunic dress situation with the leggings with clashing patterns. There's just too many things happening here. The shawl thing she has is also textured. It's, it's a lot for me, okay? And like, I like maximalist designs when they're done well. I think that it can be really, really fun to have lots of patterns and stuff like that. So like, I'm not bashing the entire concept, but I am bashing how it was done on Abby. I just don't think anything about this is appealing personally. Number four is gonna be a doll that we have talked about recently in my bad stock photos video, and that is Ghouls Alive Claudine. Much like the Fantastic Fitness line, I don't think this line in general was very good. Like I, I think most of these dolls were quite rough around the edges, but Claudine, really stands out in a bad way, especially, I like, she was fresh on my mind from doing that video, but I just can't stop seeing her eyes and how oddly situated they are. And, like, Claudine deserved better, you know? Like, she has a lot of good dolls, but something about the Ghouls Alive mechanism for her really, really, really did not work out, and, like, the cheaper version of her outfit not working either. She's unsettling, so she's at number four. Breaking into the top three normally would be like an honorable thing, this time not so much. We have dance class Howleen. I want to like so many of Howleen's dolls. Like I think that she has a lot of fun elements a lot of the time, but there's also always something there that is just grabbing my attention in the worst way possible. And I feel like dance class is really emblematic of that. Like she's got a lot going on that I'm not a fan of. I do think her hairstyle is quite cute since she is meant to be like a slightly younger character. Like she's the younger sister. I think the twin puffs is quite quite cute for her. Even though I do miss her original orange hair, like, I think this is cute with the pink style, but I just don't like the other pieces. <laughs> like, her shoes and her bag are fine, but kind of like, we've talked about with a couple of dolls on this list now, like Abby, the prints are just so much. I think the print on the pants could be fine. Not super big fan of the length, like how it's executed on her, but I think the print on the pants could be fine if she had a different top and maybe a jacket or something to tie it all together. But I hate this top. I think it's so bad. I think the print is bad by itself and then clashes so horrifically with the pants. The belt is not helping. I can't even tell what's going on with the belt. Like, I'm sure it's meant to be something, and I'm sure that if I could see the doll in person, I would be able to recognize what it is. But from the stock photo, I can't tell what is supposed to be hanging from her belt. And I'm just not in love with the overall look. Like, I look at her, and I'm disappointed, hence why she's at number three.
Alrighty, number two is going to be the Geek Shriek Gigi doll. There's so many bad things with her. I have talked about Geek Shriek a weird amount recently. Like, I feel like it's been on my mind a lot lately, but I just don't think this is a good line. I think it's a weird stereotype to put dolls in glasses and call them geeks. I think the prints in general were pretty bad and pretty cheap, and Gigi definitely was not spared from that. I also just don't think that a lot of the print has anything to do with her. Like, it looks like it's meant to be a graphing paper background, and there are scorpions on there, but there's also, like, bleeding hearts, and I think it looks like fangs, which is more of Dracula's thing, so it's very confusing to me why that's on Gigi's skirt. Like, that doesn't quite make sense. I don't know, the whole ensemble is weird. I don't like the way that the necklace tie was done. Like, we've seen that be done with other dolls. The first one that comes to mind is the um, Coffee Break Frankie from G3. I think that's good. I think the tie necklace looks good on them. The way that this one's executed is just really bad. It looks very cheap and very dated to me. And of course the glasses. I I hate this. Like I normally I'm a huge proponent of glasses on dolls because like I have glasses and I think it's nice to see cute dolls have cute glasses. I don't think these are cute glasses. Everything about this is upsetting to me and she almost took the number one spot, but someone is worse. And that someone is the save Frankie Draculaura. I feel like a broken record at this point saying the entire line, not impressive. Like the whole, the save Frankie dolls were just so unnecessary. I still don't know what the context is because I didn't watch Freaky Fusion. I gave up halfway through because I was not having a good time. So I still don't know what the context is and frankly I don't care because there's not a context that could make me think that this is a good doll. Like I said, all of them are bad, but Draculaura especially I just don't like this. I, like, there's some detail attempted in the, like, ruffles on the collar and on the sleeves, but it's just... No. Like, the whole concept is weird to me. I don't like the Save Frankie plastered across the shirt. I don't like the plastic hair bow. I understand plastic hair accessories. Sometimes they look amazing. This is not one of those times, at least for me. It's just, it's, it's real bad. And I've said before, and I maintain this, I love yellow as an accent color for Draculaura. I think it is so pretty. Poorly executed here. What really takes the cake though, and what really made me choose Draculaura over the other Save Frankie dolls, is this horrific skirt. Like, it just looks so, so cheap and so bad. This is what I would expect to get if I like ordered a pack of doll clothing off of Wish. This is the skirt that I would think that I would be receiving. It just looks terrible. It's like a weird shape. It's a weird length for the shape. I'm not really sure what the pattern is, but it's not doing anything for me, and it looks like it might disintegrate if I look at it for too long. Everything about this doll is offensive to me, and I think it's a shame that she got made. Sorry, but I just <laughs> got, a little, got a little intense there. <laughs> I just think she's really, really ugly, and um, definitely deserves, at least for me, to be on the number one spot here. But that's it for today. Sorry, I'm trying to like rein it in. That was getting really mean for a second. And like when I try to do these, I try to keep it light and funny because like I'm not trying to be that mean because I'm sure that some of y'all out there really like the dolls that I don't like. And that's fine because again, we can have differences of opinion and everyone can be peaceful. So sorry if I was getting a little zesty there. <laughs> not intentional. I just... I have very strong feelings, as you can obviously tell. But yes, that is my list for today. As I said before, I'd be very curious to hear what you guys think of these dolls and what your top 10 worst Gen 1 dolls would be. Regardless of your thoughts, though, I do hope you were able to enjoy the video. I hope it had some entertainment value for you. And I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.